Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to try British foods we've never had before. So we came across a small list on social media of things that intrigued us. Yeah, and to start... Yeah, so to start, we're going to do Chip Buddies or Chippy Buddies. I've seen both versions online. Um, and there's multiple ways that you can make these. But, um, yeah, so I have basically just some white rolls with big, thick, beautiful chips on them. I don't even know how to open it. I did put some provolone on there and um, gravy. gravy. Yeah. So, Waze has got provolone and no gravy. And, um, yeah, so I've seen where you can add ketchup or just, like, different sauces. And I thought... Um, this would be a fun item. I love bread, I love sandwiches, and I love chips. Yes. Or french fries. <laughs> so in America, we would just say, this is putting french fries on your hamburger bun. Yeah. Basically. It's basically like you forgot to, our dog's barking at us. Um, this is basically like if you forgot to buy meat and you just had nothing in the house to eat. This is kind of what you would eat. All but right. I'm fine with it. So let's try it out. This is going to be messy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is probably so plain. Yeah. Um, yours probably tastes better with the gravy on it. Mine's just dry. Like, and I'm, <laughs> I'm like Samantha. I love bread. I love, uh, we'll call mm. them crisps. I in, in this, um, in this, uh, segment given the fact that we're doing British foods but anyways um yeah now I could definitely use some mustard on this thing because I put mustard on everything but mustard was not a part of the sauces um I saw a lot of people would just put just plain bread um butter and chips or they would put ketchup on it or they would put gravy like I did cheese um I can't remember what else, but uh, yeah, so that's why I went with the gravy. Yeah, it was. It doesn't taste bad. No, it's you, just you know yeah. what you know what this is. What kind of food this is? What kind of food? This is like when you get home from school and you have nothing. And in. you have like this <laughs> would be like the pizza rolls of after school foods. It's just. Throw some french fries. Or now that I'm getting in the middle of this um, with the gravy, I really like it. It tastes actually, okay, so at, I know you guys don't do Thanksgiving, but even at Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, we'll have like a big plethora of food and I will put on my roll mashed potatoes, gravy, oh, yeah. turkey, and I'll make a big sandwich. Well, french fries or crisps. <laughs> no, they're not crisps. Yeah, they are. They're chips. Chips. Um, My bad. Yeah, anyways. Potatoes, bread, gravy. Yeah, it tastes like Thanksgiving or Christmas meal. Yeah. It made a mess. I ain't gonna lie. Some mashed potatoes on this thing. That tastes like mashed potatoes. Oh, you should put the gravy man. on there. It would be Oh my gosh. delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a thumbs up because I like it. Yeah, it's bread, cheese, and... Has yours gotten better since you've gotten in the middle of it? The first two bites was kind of dry for me, so I didn't put enough gravy on there. Yeah, it's all right. Mm. Yeah, it's falling apart, but it's really tasty. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> okay, so the second dish of the afternoon is going to be beans on toast. So we got the Heinz beans that has the tomato sauce and everything and toasted us some bread and dumped it on our plates. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to try a cheesy version but because it's kind of chaotic. Our kitchen is really small. I just decided just to do two plain bean toasted Sandwich. They're not sandwiches. <laughs> well, beans on toast. Beans on toast. Two plain beans on toast. So, let's see how we like it. 
And I don't know if you're supposed to eat it with a fork, but I definitely cannot pick this up. And I'm pretty sure our bread is soggy at this point, and I don't know if it's supposed to be. You know what? Out of all the meals or treat or whatever we're going to try today, you know what? This is the one I've most been looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It's a very underwhelming. It's beans. Yeah, but they're like. On toast. <laughs> Apparently, this is something you would eat at all times of day. This could be a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a dinner type meal. Um, I mean, it's definitely filling. If this. <laughs> okay. I would not be happy. To have to eat this every day. I didn't say for every day. Really? I'm just saying this could be once eaten. a month. <laughs> I, I'm sure no one eats this every day unless they just enjoy it. I'm sure this is just a meal that you can eat at all different times a day and it's served with other things. Like I've seen where it's served with other stuff. Yeah like eggs and bacon yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the beans don't taste much different than our regular baked beans. I was expecting a different flavor. Um, I mean, it is different, but it's not very yeah. noticeable. Mm -hmm. I still give this one a thumbs up as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's... I could I could have definitely spiced it up, put some provolone cheese and like put it back in the oven for a couple of minutes and got it nice and boiling hot. Yeah. No, taste. this would be totally cool for a breakfast. I mean, well, with other yeah. breakfast foods. But, but it's, eating think, it just like this. I think that this just on toast is kind of strange, but also eating beans for breakfast as an American it's just not something we normally would do. Yeah, it's nothing we would do ever. That's nothing we would ever do? No. Beans? We eat beans. For breakfast? No, no, no. Okay, yeah. For breakfast. I thought you meant ever, like, for any meal. Um. It's interesting. Yep, very interesting. Uh, <laughs> give me some bacon, some sausage, and some eggs, and this would be, um, fantastic. Fantastic, so. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one <laughs> this <sighs> next one is um kind of something that we've been dreading but i've been kind of excited as well <laughs> I, I don't know if excited i don't know if i can say excited um all right so marmite it is a yeast extract yeah. um type of spread that you would put on toast and I've seen where you should evenly distribute butter. More is better. So I try to do that. Yeah. So Wayne and I have more might and butter spread it on toast. And I've read, what little bit I've read on this is, don't never smell it. Oh, um, is that what you read? That's not what I read. <laughs> but this is a love or hate. Yeah. And we've had Spread. twiglets before. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link that. Um, well, twiglets are nasty. <laughs> well, apparently, twiglets have marmite on them. That's why they're nasty. <laughs> so this is going to be okay. like eating tree bark okay. again. Oh, you don't even have water. Do you want to grab some water? I'll let you have some water. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take some of this. <laughs> All right. All right. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. Set. Go. Go. It's very strong. I don't know if I hate it though. I don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> this is gross. I'm gonna swallow it. Mm. Yeah, let's put that in water. Alright. Whoa, yes. Well, at first, when I took a bite, 
I was overwhelmed with butter. Sorry, um, I, I did put because, a good portion of butter. Yeah, I don't typically eat, like I don't put butter on anything. No, I'll use it to cook and stuff. But so the first taste of butter, and then as I kept chewing, I could start tasting the marmite. I could still taste the marmite in my mouth. Um, very, almost, I don't know, bitter, I guess. I don't really know what, I guess it's the yeast. Um, yeah, it's very strong. But uh, I'm not taking another bite of that because you can have mine. Not good, in my opinion. Okay, so. Oh, there you go. Um, not overall as <clears throat> bad as I had probably anticipated. I actually kind of have like this weird liking to it. I cannot pinpoint why I like it or what it is. It's very strong at first. I was not sure if I would like it. But if I, I think I put enough butter on there to kind of just even it, it out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty decent. I give this one a hard thumbs down. Okay, well, there you go. On to the you, next one. You either like it or you don't. <laughs> like or hate. I couldn't say I love. I wouldn't say I love Marmite. But I would have it again. I no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Never. Okay, so the next thing that we wanted to try was a Yorkshire pudding. So I found a recipe on Pinterest and made these from scratch. And for the first time, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself, even though it's a three <laughs> ingredient process. Um, some of them look a little wonky, but they did what I wanted them to do. They have the good. hole, they rose in the middle. I only let my batter sit in the fridge for a good 30 minutes, so I could have done that a little bit longer, but I forgot to make the batter in advance. So, yeah. So next time, I'm definitely, if we like these anyways, next time I'm going to try them so I can get them to rise a little bit higher. You know what they look like? Um, which, like, you've got that one with gravy in it. Mm -hmm. But they look like, I don't know... I think Little Debbie makes something similar to this where it has like a... That's what it looks really? like. Really? But you know what I'm talking about though, right? <laughs> no. It has like a cream filled like... These are not sweet. Yeah, I know, but it's... I would have to do it and show you later. <laughs> I think it's mostly around Christmas time when people... Um, next time we go to okay, Walmart, if, I'll if, show you. If we find a picture of whatever weight is trying to reference we will pop it up on the screen yeah. now it's like a raspberry or something it's a reddish looking filling in the middle and it's supposed to be sweet or i don't know I've never, I've never had one because okay. they look disgusting so what i think of the we haven't tried them yet but what i think of these whenever i i see them in pictures they look delicious first off um mm. but they just look like a good roll like a good homemade roll. Yes. Um, probably gonna get hate in the comments for that, but. All right, let's try them. I'm gonna try, I put one with gravy. Wade doesn't eat gravy. We're not big gravy people, um, but I did put one with the gravy in it, and then I wanna try one plain first. Okay. I'm hot. It's not what I thought it was going to taste like. It tastes like egg. I was going to say, I can taste the egg. That's like eating a bunch of egg whites. <laughs> there was a whole egg in there. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me try out the gravy. Um, Maybe. So, last year when we made the British Christmas dinner, I was informed that we should have had gravy. We should have had lots of gravy and we should have made these. Didn't realize how simple the recipe was or I would have done it last year. So um, 
we were informed that you basically fill the holes up with gravy. So I'm trying to redeem myself now. It's so hot though. I don't want to get gravy everywhere. Just get it everywhere. Just get it everywhere. Just get it everywhere. I don't like it plain, I can say that. <laughs> no. No. Is it a lot better with gravy? It's like squishy. Yeah, I can just taste the gravy mainly. Huh. I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna try to make these again. Maybe I made them wrong. But I don't know how I could have made them taste any differently. It was just a pinch of salt. Um, even ratio of whole milk and flour and then it called for four eggs. So that's what I did. Huh. I wanted it like this. It looks delicious. It's really good um, with the, um, the gravy. I bet if you put like like you filled your food chocolate like, oh, in macaroni here. and cheese or mashed potatoes. <laughs> Everything's mashed potatoes. <laughs> we love mashed potatoes. You um, never eat mashed potatoes. No, hold on. It's got an egg taste to it mm -hmm. with the bread. Almost you can like, put meat in it you can like put, for breakfast. You could put sausage, bacon, and beans. <laughs> and then you've got a breakfast. So, okay, so you'll have... Wade's going to start requesting. He'll say, can I get three Yorkshire puddings with one with baked beans, one with sausage, and one with uh, bacon? No, 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 no. It all goes into one. Oh, how are you going to fit that in there? I don't know. Anyways. I mean, that's a cool breakfast idea. Let me know if you guys have already tried that before. Um, yeah, it's really good with the gravy. So, I really, I really do like that. And the texture is really fun, like a spongy kind of... I just wasn't expecting what I'm being into it <laughs> to have that, an, egg, an egg white taste oh, to it. It, it, just, it just caught me off guard. And yeah, it's just so strange like that. Um, I'm going to try it plain again. I know one thing that would not taste good with this. What? Marmite. Well, you didn't like it anyways. That's my point. So, we give these a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm giving it a thumbs sideways because I really don't know. You're weird. I'm still going to give it a thumbs up, um, but I'm going to try to make it differently, see if I can I'm all about trying to make something better, so. Yeah. Anyways, I want to, at least, if I can't change the flavor yes, by themselves, I will eat them with, um, maybe like a really nice meal. It'd be fun to make these for, like, Christmas this year mm -hmm. and bring them to, like, a family Christmas and everybody can tell us their opinions on that. Yep. But, um, also, I want to make them prettier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically a bonus round. Did not intend to make. Um, don't really know what to call this. It's. It's so basically. <laughs> I don't really know. I think what... it's called spaghetti rings. I think that's what you guys call it, right? Anyways, we call it spaghetti o's. Spaghetti o's. It's just um, spaghetti just canned round, spaghetti rounds, so. rings. Yeah. Rings. So we saw um, this on. We saw this on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw it on TikTok. Um, when I saw the beans, these are a popular item, more for probably kids or the kids at heart, because Wade's like a kid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he really wanted to try these, but I'd already bought everything I needed that I needed to order. And so these are going to be the American version of the spaghetti yeah. rings. Yeah. But I think they're the same. I mean, I don't know how they could be much different. And I honestly, you can go ahead and try this if you want. Yeah, I'm not really excited about it. I've never but had spaghetti or I'm going to call it spaghettios. Spaghettios, yeah. Um, <laughs> on toast, no. I normally eat it with biscuits, crackers. Spaghettios. Okay, I was so confused. Not toast and crackers. Like, don't call them biscuits. They're crackers. <laughs> They're saltines. So actually, thinking about how we eat spaghetti. How I've always eaten spaghetti, we would either have Texas toast or some type of bread, rolls, something, 
and I always load up the bread with my spaghetti. This is basically the same thing. Yeah, this is basically the same thing. <laughs> Believe it or not, though. So it's not this, as odd. This tastes very similar to the beans on toast. Oh, so not your favorite. Um, I just still prefer to eat it the way I like to eat it, but... I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah. And I think it's just the sauce is what makes it mm. um, have that beans on toast taste to it. I actually think I like this better than the beans on toast. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, I don't eat SpaghettiOs on the regular like Wade does. Mm -mm. Not two thumbs up. It's just one thumbs up. <laughs> well, that, the other thumbs up was for me. Okay. So. I just didn't want anybody to think that I gave this two thumbs up and everything else just one. Because okay. that was not the thing. That was not. <laughs> not the intent. I'm trying to clarify. Not the intent. <laughs> so now that we are done trying all of the social media inspired British things to eat. I think we're going to kind of give our opinion on what we thought was our favorite and our least favorite. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and start with the favorite. What was your favorite? I think my favorite was the chip buddy. <laughs> that was my favorite as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because like we said when we ate it, who doesn't like chips and yeah. bread and cheese? But I will say, since mine was plain, it was a little plain. Mine. But if I could throw some mustard on that, yeah, that I mean, would be I saw fantastic. a girl put ranch on hers. Yeah, so. Um, so I guess you're just free to put whatever you want on it, yeah. honestly. Um, but I didn't say, see anybody put mustard on theirs, and I didn't see anything referencing mustard, so... Yeah. Which is on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I like that. It, was, it just tastes like Thanksgiving or Christmas um, in a big nice roll. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, super simple meal. I could eat that again. Yes. And your least favorite? My least favorite would have to be the... I think I'm still going to say the least favorite would be the beans on toast. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's the Marmite. The beans on toast. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. Um, the beans on toast was just so underwhelming and mm -hmm. I would not be eating that again. Not really. Not unless someone served it to me. Yeah. I, I mean, I would eat it, but I'm not going to make it for myself. Yeah, exactly. It's the same here. If we went somewhere and it was like an English breakfast and it came with it, then obviously I would eat it. Yeah, and it but, probably would taste better. I just used the Heinz cans, can yeah. of baked beans. Um, didn't even do anything to them, just heated them up. So it probably could be better. <laughs> but, I don't know. All right. So, yeah. Yep. And you're never going to have more money again? Um, I'm going to try my best to never have Marmite again. And you know what's so funny? It's like looking at it and then tasting it and I don't, it's not a delicacy, right? Like Marmite? I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't think it would be, but in my head, Marmite ranks upon like the same thing like um, sardines? No. Gross. No. Yeah. That is, no. I've never had sardines, but. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants to eat fish from a can? No. I'm pretty sure people like it. It's made, so. I don't know. Or, like, caviar. That That's probably, right. I mean, you just, I don't know. It, it's a cool, like, little snack. Spread? Yeah. Um, I don't know me. how often I would eat it, but I definitely would eat it again i didn't hate it and i actually kind of liked it in a weird way so yeah, yeah. I, I would prefer the spaghettios on toast over the <laughs> so. yeah well you really like spaghettios i do i like spaghettios okay guys i think that is gonna be it for today um can't wait to see what you guys think about our thoughts and yeah what we tried today yeah. We and, really enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah. And if there's any variations to each one of these little meals or dishes or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and most it, of it's like side dishes. Yeah, but. That, um, that you do, 
um, let us know because yeah. we can definitely try it again. Yeah, these are easy items to get a hold of yeah. and make and try. So, yeah. Yeah. With that, guys, thank you guys for following along. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.